Cal Navarro is standing by in Franklin County, but our coverage starts with ABC 27's Jada Williams. She joins us live from the Leon County Board of Elections. Jada, how's it going there? Supervisor tells me that it's been pretty busy here today. They hit a goal of 33% voter turnout, and right now they're at about 32%. Now, despite COVID-19, Early says that that voter turnout is on par with what they usually get with the primary election. Now, there are two seats on the Tallahassee City Commission that are up for grabs this election cycle. Seat one is getting a lot of tension. It's the one currently held by Elaine Bryant. Emerging in this race is Jacqueline Jack Porter. Both women are new to campaigning as Bryant was appointed to her seat after Scott Maddox was removed. Both say this election is all about serving the community. I'm here to serve in the community, and if the city of Tallahassee says, yes, Elaine, let's continue. That's what we'll do uh, as a city commissioner. And if they say no, I, I'm okay with that too because I'm still going to continue to serve. If I'm elected, I will, I will lead the same way that I have run this campaign, putting people first, reaching out, going to them, including them in conversations, and being accountable to them. And I think that that's the kind of leadership that you'll see from me and the kind of leadership that our community deserves and wants. Also in the race, running on the platform of lowering crime, protecting, protecting businesses from corporations and environmental issues like protecting the ocean. Now, Tallahassee Commission seat two, which is held by Curtis Richardson, is also on the election ballot for tonight. Tonight at 530, we'll hear from Commissioner Richardson as well as one of his opposers. Reporting live from the Leon County Supervisors of Elections Office, Jada Williams, ABC 27.